Hey friends, it's Emma here. It's Tuesday, December 21st. Welcome to the Missions Changed My Life show by Global Hope India with your host, Kevin White. This is the podcast where we say yes to God's call to finish the task of the Great Commission. Thank you for subscribing, reviewing, and sharing the show. Kevin's newest book, Get to the Point, was an instant international bestseller. Get to the Point is available worldwide in paperback, hardback, ebook, and audiobook. It is a practical guide for passionately pursuing God's presence. Every guidance and provision you will ever need can be found today in the presence of God. Visit globalhopeindia.org to read and gift Get to the Point and Kevin's first book, Audacious Generosity, today. Okay, now here's your host, Kevin White. Good morning, welcome to Missions Change My Life. I'm Pastor Kevin. I am the founder and executive director of Global Hope India, and we are so excited to have you in the audience today. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm actually waving at you right now. I'd love to give you a high five, a fist pump, um, but I'm just so grateful to have you in the audience today. If you're listening wherever podcasts can be heard, we are excited to have you listening. This podcast goes out to 133, well, it goes out to all countries, but we know that 133 Uh, Countries are listening in, and we are so thankful to have you in the audience today. I want to wrap up uh, 2021 with just a uh, short devotional and vision for 2022. I want to focus on two words during this episode. The first word is gratitude. The second word is access. I want to take just a moment right now and just express gratitude to the Lord Jesus Christ for bringing us through 2020 and 2021. COVID-19, what a fierce fight that has been around the world. It has been a hellacious global pandemic. And our hearts go out to everyone that has suffered loss in 2021. You know, we were hopeful that India had dodged the bullet many countries in the USA. I had COVID in 2020, November. My family had COVID. We were not hospitalized, but many people were were hospitalized. I remember morgues being set up outside hospitals in New York City in 2020. But all during that, while, while hell was breaking loose around the world, India had very few cases of COVID-19. And we were so hopeful that uh, they had dodged the bullet. But 2021 brought in the deadliest year in the history of India. We sympathize and mourn and grieve with all of those that have lost. People have lost jobs. They have lost loved ones. Every one of our strategic partners in India knows pastors that died, church members that died, relatives that died, friends and neighbors that died as a result of COVID-19. All hell broke loose in India in April and May of 2021. It will take years for India to recover from such a devastating blow, but we are grateful to the Lord. He has proven himself faithful. His word says that he is an ever-present help in time of need. And India saw that. Our partners saw that. Our board members saw that. Our staff saw that. Global Hope India saw that. Hopefully you saw that. And to God be the glory for survival. Thank God for vaccines. Thank God for his presence in the midst of the fire. You know, the Bible never, ever assures us that there will not be trouble. If anything, it actually prepares us for trouble. How it prepares us is to not necessarily take away trouble, but to tell us that he will be with us in the midst of trouble. Trouble. Jesus said, you will face trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And so we are so grateful for a Lord and Savior that has been there, that will be there, 
and we can wake up tomorrow knowing who holds the future. And so gratitude. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your help in 2021. Uh, I want to thank our board. 2021 has proven to be a year of partnership with our board. As I continued to be called into authorship of my second book uh, and even my third book in 2022, the board has really been partners with me in that. I've been partners with the board in running Global Hope India. I get up and ride at 6 a.m. I come into the office. I take care of Global Hope India. And it's been sort of two full-time jobs to some degree. But I am so grateful for the opportunity and for the partnership. I am thankful to our staff, uh, Courtney, Justin, uh, Vanit, Jay, all of our staff around the world. We have, we have co-workers in India as well as in the Philippines and here in the USA uh, could not have done this year without them. And I'm so grateful for our staff. I'm thankful for my wife and for our family. And I'm thankful for every donor. Uh, every day, people make contributions to Global Hope India. Wow. I mean, that's just amazing and in and of itself to just think about that. Every month, there are monthly partners who just like they pay their monthly mortgage and their monthly power bill, they make contributions of investing in Global Hope India. And I am so grateful. I'm grateful for every donor that, that has a partner in India that they are helping to care for in 2021. I'm grateful for the church in India, for our partners in India. They have proven themselves to be faithful, to be resilient, to be faithful and persevering uh, throughout the year. Uh, curveball after curveball came where churches were shut down, not for a week, but for months. And yet they continued to minister. They continued to help people have food, to have vaccines, to have clean drinking water, and on and on and on. I'm thankful for Bibles that were distributed in 2021. You know, uh, I told our board, even if we knew today that we could not go to India for the next 10 years, there is so much that we can do in raising funds for Bibles. And I'm grateful that we were able to raise funds for vaccines, for Bibles, for clean water, for groceries, for church construction, for orphan care, and so many vital means of demonstrating the love of Jesus. I am so grateful. I want you to hear that word gratitude. I hope you have many things that you are grateful for. You know, Elevation Worship has a new song in 2021, A Million Little Things, and it really talks about how God has been so faithful and there's just a million little ways in which he proves himself faithful, that he has taken care of us time and time again. And I am so grateful for worship and grateful for that song and grateful for the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for this show. The second word I want you to hear is the word access. G-H-I has always existed and we will always exist for the provision of access because everyone should have access to know about Jesus. Statistically, there's over 7 billion people still alive even after COVID-19 on planet Earth. 4 billion have access to know who Jesus is. They may maybe have not chosen Him as Lord and Savior, but at least they know and they have a choice. They have an opportunity. And while the Bible says that all men are without excuse, it is still to our calling and our purpose that we continue to proclaim the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. Statistically, there are 3 billion people that still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. You talk, talk to them about Jesus and they would literally say, Jesus who? They don't know. They have not heard. I want to share a verse with you that really continues to be a catalyst for Global Hope India. It should be a catalyst for you going into 2022. 
It is from Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Jesus is speaking and he says in this gospel, this good news of the kingdom, the good news of my presence will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. And we are holding on. We are holding on to the promises of God that the good news of the presence of God will be preached to the whole world, not just the USA, not just Canada and Mexico and the Philippines, but the whole world, the three billion that still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. It says until it is preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, all nations, from the largest to the smallest, all nations, the whitest to the brownest, the reddest to the yellow, all nations, English speaking, non-English speaking, all nations. And that is why Global Hope India exists for access because everyone should have access to know about Jesus. That's why we raise funds for Bibles. That's why we train pastors. That's why we send out pastors so that people can call upon the name of Jesus for salvation, so that people can be baptized, so new churches can be planted. And we believe that the best days are still ahead, that 2022 will usher in revival. It will usher in this access to the presence of God. I'm excited to be going into 2022. I don't know if what will happen in 2022. Uh, we don't, but we know who will hold 2022 in the palm of his hands. Almighty God, kind, generous, faithful, compassionate, merciful God will be holding 2022 in the palm of his hands. We are believing for the return to India in 2022. We are grateful for uh, the opportunity to see the fulfillment of Matthew chapter 24, verse 14 in 2022. It says, in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. I hope you understand COVID-19 is not going to bring the end of the world. You may be fearful, you may be anxious, you may be worried, and maybe it's COVID-19, maybe it's suicide, maybe it's mass gun violence, maybe it's something with floods and earthquakes and natural disasters, maybe it's wars and rumors of wars. There are many things that we are dealing with in today's world, but I want to assure you that the end will not come until all nations have access to Jesus Christ. And so he has said, go, go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations. And we have had the pause going. It has been outside of our control. We can continue to go virtually. We can go in streaming live broadcasts, we can go in social media, we can go through email and lots of technology, but we have not been able to get on a plane and to fly over 8,000 miles away to the country of India in almost two years. And we are believing for that to return. You know, go might have to be paused in any season of our life, but go will never ever be excused. It will never be stopped. It will, God is never going to reverse the great commission and say, now you don't need to go. You just need to stay at home and preach. You just need to stay at home and pray. Go means go, and it will always continue to mean go. And so I hope that you will prayerfully consider going to India with Global Hope India in 20. 22. I want you to 
be passionate for the presence of God and persistent to the fulfillment of Matthew 24, verse 14. And this good news of the presence of God will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. How will this happen? Go, go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey all that I've commanded. That takes hands to lower people down into the water and bring them back up. That takes you and I packing luggage. That takes you and I going and being an ever-present help, being the hands and feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am grateful for you, and I am reminding you of the passion of God to have access to you today and for you to have access to the presence of Almighty God. And let us not rest until everyone in the world has access to our Jesus. I love you. I'll see you next week on Missions Changed My Life. God bless you all. Thank you for listening to the Missions Changed My Life show by Global Hope India with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program, copyright Global Hope India, all rights reserved. Each week, we bring you a message of how God uses missions to bring real and lasting change through Jesus Christ. Join Global Hope India again next week for Missions Changed My Life with Kevin White.